Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are having a great day and making it an awesome one. I am uploading this video after a while as I was busy doing some personal projects and learning new programs and techniques to improve my workflow. In today's video, I'll share the complete workflow of creating this beautiful vector landscape in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure to watch till the end as I will have a present for you at the end of this video. The first thing you do is to get inspiration or ideas if you don't have any. The best place to find them is from Google. Search beautiful vector landscapes and go to images. After going over some great illustrations, here are some I found the best. Remember, the purpose of doing this research is to get inspiration from other great artists. Now I have pretty good idea in my mind to create this beautiful scene. But first, I need to brainstorm the ideas so I can decide if it goes into the final design or not. The best way to brainstorm ideas is good old pen and paper as it helps to put your ideas in a physical form instead of floating in your head. You don't need drawing skills like Bob Ross to achieve the best results. Just visualize things that looks good in the final illustration. If your drawing skills are great, it sure helps a lot, but if you're like me, you better rely on software. Now import it to Adobe Illustrator and lower its opacity. Creating a color palette is important here, as the color will define the feel and ambience of the scene. A quick side note, if you're not good at drawing like me, then you better learn the pen tool and the pencil tool found in the Adobe Illustrator as they help a lot to make curved paths and all the drawings and sketching in general. For example, this object is completely made using pen tool and the pencil tool. One more thing, creating a vector object could be a hard thing to do. You can't be good at it overnight. But if you practice and keep trying the right way, the result will be worth it. The main thing is to be cartoonish and realistic at the same time. That makes sense? I mean the shapes you create in Illustrator will obviously look cartoonish. But the real details like shadows and reflections and organic shapes will definitely add life to the illustration. I made all the illustration already for the sake of this video because I don't want this video to be hours long. Now here comes the composite part. Here I will just place objects which I already created and adjust them and tweak the details until they look good. Here I will decide if it looks good or not or if I need to create something from scratch again. This is what I came up with. Now here is the present. The link to this illustration is in the description. You can download it, use each illustration in your own projects, create desktop wallpaper, do whatever you want, no question asked, and it's absolutely free. Thank you so much for watching it till the end. Now if you like the video, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel for more, and suggest the ideas in the comment section. I read all comments. Stay tuned for more, and have a great day.